guys and welcome to or back to my channel. Um, if this is your first time on this channel, my name is Julia. Um, I'm an MD PhD student living in New York City and I make all sorts of vlogs about um, MD PhD life um, and also kind of all the other things that are fun about living in New York and, and travel and, and all of that stuff as well. Um, so today I'm filming a, a video that I'm really excited about um, and I've wanted to film this for a while because I've wanted to talk about how to stay healthy in medical school. Um, and I've only completed the first two years of medical school. So this is like with that framework specifically, um, because now I'm a third year and I'm in my PhD lab full time. Um, but I think this is a topic that like everyone should talk about, um, because I think it's really important for you to be able to take care of yourself in medical school so that you're able to show up for your patients the way that you need to. Um, and you shouldn't have to sacrifice everything about your life in medical school. Um, so I came up with 10 tips uh, to kind of keep yourself on a healthy routine while you're in medical school. Um, and I hope this is helpful and we'll go through them one by one. The first thing I wanna talk about um, are meals. Some of the things that I wanted to talk about is kind of having some staple go-to meals. Um, for me, for breakfast, it's usually like overnight oats um, or I'll do like hard boiled eggs and avocado. Um, and then for lunch and dinner, I'll do some, usually just like leftovers of each other. Um, so I'll make something for dinner and then have it for lunch for a couple days. Should be able to cook once and eat multiple times. Um, so whether there's like the saying that's like cook once, eat twice. Um, but I think you can cook once and maybe, you know, you make four servings and you store it away for the week or you make a quinoa salad and you eat that for the whole week. Um, so I think stuff like having some like go-to like really easy um, meal ideas makes a really big difference. Um, and how you're feeling. I think it's important to know that there's a lot of like pre-made options for you as opposed to just um, like frozen meals that you can get somewhere. Like Trader Joe's has pre-cooked like chicken that you can literally just microwave or frozen rice or um, you know, just really easy like vegetable options um, and different meals that you can put together. I used to do that a lot when I was first starting out as I would go to Trader Joe's um, and I would get like the pre-made chicken and the frozen rice and like I would throw like a couple of vegetables like in a pan and like that was it. Um, and it's super easy and it's pre-made and you can kind of put it all together and have multiple meals out of that. Um, so I think taking uh those things and like being able to like emphasize them and like have them as easy meal ideas and take advantage of it uh is really important and really easy to keep on like a good routine okay. the next thing i want to talk about is snacks um so i think when people go to med school there's this like uh rumor you know that everyone gains all this weight when they're in medical school um, and I think a lot of that comes from like unhealthy habits. Um, and one of them I think is late night snacking. Uh, so often, you know, med students, you're up late and it's, you know, when you're up studying late at night, you don't crave, you know, carrots and hummus or like little like healthy snacks like that. Um, so I think there's kind of two ways to approach this. I think one way um, and the way that I mostly did it was that I decided that like after 9 p.m. I wasn't studying for med school. Um, I noticed that if I studied later at night and I didn't get up early in the morning, I didn't feel very good. But if you are going to be up late, you know, for a final or some reason that you have to be up late studying, um, I think it's important to have some kind of like easy, healthier choices that are still maybe sweet or savory or whatever you're kind of craving at night. Um, some of the things that I like to have normally on hand, I love um, the lesser evil popcorn. And I'll do that with um, some almonds and some dark chocolate, um, like chocolate chips within it. Uh, or I'll do, I'll make kind of like homemade protein balls that are like sweet, you know, with peanut butter and honey and stuff like that. Um, or like, you know, something else that is just kind of easy to grab, but like tasty and still giving you some like brain food. Um, it's really easy in medical school to drink all the time. There's always opportunities. There's always, you know, free alcohol for things. Like this is like an important time for you to make like healthy habits to cope with your stress. Um, and especially in terms of alcohol, um, I find personally that I don't feel super good afterwards. I feel like it's reflected in my skin and my digestion and um, all of these things that I think you can have it in moderation, but I think it's something that's worth reflecting on. Um, and making sure you kind of have a plan of how you want to handle um, alcohol in medical school. Um, and, you know, like really leaning into like what alcohol serves you or what alcohol do you enjoy? Do you enjoy a glass of wine with your friends? Do you enjoy a cocktail here and there? Um, you know, do you want a tequila soda or like... I think deciding what kind of when you're going to drink and maybe it's not all the time, what would be the most fulfilling to you um, and like really reflecting on that is important. 
Um, and with caffeine too, I think this is another thing that's so easy to like have so much of during medical school and people like, you know, encourage it, you know, they're having all this coffee and they, um, you know, having diet Cokes or energy drinks or whatever. Um, and I think it's fine in moderation, but I think it's again, something that you should kind of like reflect on. You should decide like, you know, I really only want to be having one coffee a day. And maybe this is something that like takes time for you to change. Um, but I think not having too much caffeine, caffeine can make you anxious in high amounts. So I think that's, you know, the opposite of what you want to feel in medical school. Cause you already are like anxious enough. Um, so I think having, um, like a one, one or two cups of coffee a day and like, you know, doing it with like, um, a good, like, uh, alternative milk or with some milk or, um, you know, if you like it black, like, I think just being aware of, like what is enjoyable to you and doing that in a way that like makes you feel good through it. And that's kind of my rule with um, alcohol and with ca caffeine in general. My fourth tip is that I think you should commit to a number of workouts that you want to do in a week. Um, I think it's really easy to say, uh, you know, a workout has to be an hour and it has to be this high intensity thing. Um, and that's the only thing that counts as a workout. But sometimes you come home from clinic and you are tired, you are emotionally drained, you are exhausted. Um, and I think it's like, it takes a lot of um, intuition to be able to decide what feels best for you and for your body. Um, and for me, I would find that sometimes a 20 minute Pilates workout I'm in my bedroom on the floor was all I could do. Um, and that's sometimes what my body needed. Um, so I think, you know, finding a movement that feels happy to you and like, you know, I love going to workout classes on the weekends and, and all of that stuff too. But, um, I think sometimes like committing to a number and being like, whether that's two or three or four or whatever it is, um, deciding that you're going to commit to that number, um, like, and plan them out. And then, you know, if they end up being 10 minutes, they end up being 10 minutes, but at least you're like sticking to a routine and that consistency and that momentum really keeps you going. My fifth tip is on walking. Walking is actually really great. And there's studies too with like that walking, you know, for 30 minutes a day decreases your cardiovascular risk. Really, it's a, such a great way to move your body. Um, and a really great way to keep your like energy up as you study. Um, so I used to always go for a morning walk before I started studying in the morning, or if I was commuting to campus, I would do that. Um, and then I would love a little at, like lunch afternoon walk after you ate lunch. Um, I think that always like really gets, gets your blood going. And, um, when I was studying for step and I was just sitting at this desk for, uh, you know, hours and hours on end that like midday walk really like got me energized and I could walk somewhere interesting and listen to a podcast or do all these things that I think were really, um, beneficial. And my walk. sixth tip, um, is to think about your week and your days that follow and do a little bit of planning, which I know nobody wants to do. Um, but I think it's important because this really helps you decide, um, like how how you're going to do all these things that you want to do so if you want to work out four times a week you know and you know that you have um an exam on friday and you know you have to plan in those workouts or plan in those times this really keeps you on top of it um and your your food too you know it's like you you know that you have a busy day and you're not gonna have time to um make lunch at home so you need to bring something or you know you're gonna be gone for many hours and you have a hard workout so you need to bring a nice snack um, I think planning of your workouts and your food and then also just your whole like med school schedule and keeping that all as like one um, cohesive thing really helps you uh, be able to do it all. Okay, my seventh tip um, is to see your family or friends at least weekly. Um, I think when you're before you go to medical school, you're like, what do you mean? Of course, I will see my family and friends weekly. Like, that's crazy. I would never not do that. Um, and then you start medical school and you realize how crazy it can be. Um, and I think it's like, again, how I was talking about how schedule, you should schedule your meals and your workouts and all this. I think scheduling in time to see your fam family and friends is so incredibly important, um, especially when you're studying and you get in, like you're getting kind of in a study hole is what I used to call them. Um, just like having people who are like outside of medicine that can kind of bring you up and um, uplift you and like it really it really helps your wellness in like an incre incredibly different way I found that once I started when I was studying for SEP um, once I started seeing a friend like weekly while I was studying I felt so much better and I felt so much more motivated and focused um, as opposed to just saying oh I'm gonna work this whole time and I'm not gonna see anyone I'm not gonna do anything 
Um, I'm really guilty of that at times. And I think as many times as I've learned it, um, prioritizing your family and friends and seeing them, especially throughout these really tough times of medical school, will make it so much better and you will feel so much better and healthier. Okay, my eighth tip is to prioritize sleep over a lot of different things. Um, so I know I've been talking about um, workouts and talking about food and all of this stuff. It's really important to um, prioritize your sleep and that almost needs to be before anything else. So if you can either order takeout or like cook a healthy meal, but ordering takeout means that you have to go to sleep at a, like a reasonable time and get eight hours of sleep, I almost would say to do that if it's financially feasible. Um, most of the time it's like that should be the priority or you know if you can't work out but you can go to sleep early like that makes such a big impact on your hunger hormones and the workouts you're able to do and the interactions that you have with other people um and the way you're able to study i just think people find it so easy for sleep to be the last the thing that just goes during medical school and they stay up late and I just find that if you have a strict bedtime with yourself and you have like planned what's feasible to do in the amount of time that you have um, and go to sleep at like that same time every day, like the work gets done because you like feel better and you want to go to sleep. And um, I just think that that like having a, like a, a good sleep routine um, and prioritizing your sleep over a lot of things, you know, even like sometimes I have like decided not to go over a lecture that's even on an exam because I would rather have that hour of sleep um, the night before the exam. So I just think like that should be up there as like one of your main priorities um, and uh, try not to let it go um, because it really, it affects school, it affects your health, it affects everything. Uh, really, really try to make sleep like your number one thing that you care about. Okay, my ninth tip um, is to have morning and evening routines. I'm really big on these. Um, I think in the morning, um, I'm really, I can make like a whole video on this too, but I love, I love my mornings um, and I love um, a lot of things about them, but I really like having kind of my, my skincare time. I do a meditation in the morning. Um, I kind of like get myself ready for the day and listen to a podcast and um, have my coffee and breakfast and uh, also go for a little walk like I was talking about. So I just think like having a good morning routine really sets you up for the whole day and makes you like have a positive outlook on everything you're doing because you know you have that time for yourself. Um, and the same thing goes with an evening routine. Um, I really like to watch TV, watch YouTube videos. Um, I will get a cup of tea. Um, sometimes I'll journal, um, do a face mask. Like I really have kind of those bookends of my day carved out. Um, because the morning routines and the evening routines, like those are, you know, everything outside of med school, like those are who I am. And those are my hobbies and the things that I care about and talking to my family and friends. Like, you know, I obviously I love medicine and I love what I'm doing, um, when I'm studying and what I'm working on. Uh, but I think your morning and evening routines are like so crucial when you're in medical school because they are like so sacred to you that you get to have like all these this time that's dedicated just for you and your wellness. Um, and that can also like be the time that you get a workout in or, um, you know, the time that you make dinner, like all of that time I think is so valuable and you need to like treat it like that. Um, and you know, the time, the amount of time that you have to do all the things that you need to do for med school in a day, um, you still need to prioritize like having all this other stuff outside of it. My 10th tip that I want to talk about um, is having compassion for yourself throughout this process. There are so many tough days of medical school. There are so many tough weeks. There are tough months, you know, there are tough years. Um, but I think you every day can choose for something to not be a pattern. You know, you can actively have a difficult class going on or be studying for step one, um, or have something that like is a really difficult task, difficult thing for you to overcome. Um, and have the ability to make things different every day. So the way that I kind of did this was I tried to journal every day and like think of ways for myself to get better um, and think of like how I can be more productive. How can I take care of myself better? What will make me feel better right now? What are some meals that I could make that will make me like feel nourished and happy and healthy? Um, and I think just like thinking of that every day that like you're a work in progress and 
a bad day or a bad month, the bad year doesn't have to mean a bad day tomorrow. Like you get to choose how you act the next day. You get to choose how things happen to you the next day and how you respond to things. Um, so, you know, maybe it's, you know, picking up journaling or maybe it's deciding you're going to start doing a meditation every day or doing a little morning walk and seeing how these habits like make you feel better. Um, and, you know, deciding you're going to cook for yourself or you're going to start making overnight oats every morning or, or every evening. Um, or you're going to start incorporating like some like YouTube Pilates workouts. Um, I think my, my overall point here is just to be kind to yourself um, and do things every day that take care of you. Treat yourself like someone you love. I think that is really important. And think of yourself as like you get to help yourself go through this like you know, insane process that is medical school. Um, and you get to have all these like tools and techniques that really, really will make you feel better. Um, and that's, you know, the whole goal of medicine is for people to stay healthy and happy. And, um, you know, I think you throughout your training, will see people who are unhealthy and just want to be able to be healthy. And I think it's a really important realization that I had during medical school, that how lucky am I to be healthy? And I don't, and I want to take care of myself and preserve that. So I gabbed about this for way too long. Um, but I hope this was helpful. And please leave a comment. Um, like, subscribe, all the things, you know, go follow me on my Instagram. Um, I'm really trying to grow this channel and to kind of be able to speak my, my truth about being a med student, being a grad student, um, and the ways that you can take care of yourself and your health through it. I think that's really my goal with this channel is to be able to show um how to survive this program and how to be happy during it how to be healthy during it um and i think i figured out a lot of it but you know i'm only on a third year so we'll see what happens from here but yeah i hope you i hope you enjoyed um and please stick around and let me know if you have any feedback bye